Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has started rolling out this month October's Patch Tuesday updates for both Windows 10 and 11. And for Windows 10, that's update KB5018410, which is available for Windows 10 versions 21H2, 21H1 and 20H2. Now, just a quick reminder, as I have posted previously, if you are still running Windows 10 version 21H1, um, you've got about two months or so before the end of servicing and support, which is on the 13th of December this year. So Microsoft is suggesting that you upgrade to a newer version of Windows 10 to continue receiving security and quality updates. Now, the updates that roll out um, on the second Tuesday of every month, we refer to as Patch Tuesday updates and they are compulsory automatic security updates that will be downloaded and installed automatically onto your device unless you decide to pause the update for a couple of days and that's kb5018410 as mentioned for windows 10. now this is an important security update that has rolled out and um, this month for windows 10 as it addresses 64 vulnerabilities in total so 64 vulnerabilities have been fixed and none of those are critical vulnerabilities and it's important to note that your critical vulnerabilities are your highest ranked vulnerabilities. So as I mentioned, an important security update. And eight of those critical vulnerabilities are remote code execution vulnerabilities, which means um, a, a hacker, an attacker, the bad guy, so to speak, can try to gain access to your system over a network or the internet. And then one of those critical vulnerabilities is called a Hyper-V elevation of privilege vulnerability. So 64 vulnerabilities in total have been addressed, none of which are critical. Now, um, if you installed the optional bug fix C release update that rolled out near the end of last month for Windows 10, which was update 5017380, only the security fixes now will be downloaded um, with this patch Tuesday update 5018410. Now, if you didn't install this optional bug fix C release update that rolled out um, late last month in September, then um, you will get all the improvements, bug fixes and add-ons from this update now rolled out with this latest Patch Tuesday update. Now, I did post on this update, which rolled out um, late last month. So I'll leave a link in the description uh, to that video in case you would be interested, as it will just give you a lot more information. But I would say the key highlight with that update, which will now roll out for this Patch Tuesday update, um, if you didn't install that previous update, um, is that the news and interest feed had a couple of improvements. Now, up until recently, the news and interest feed, just to do a quick recap, was only available if you had your taskbar at the bottom of your screen. So now if we change the taskbar um, to another location, let's just change it to the left just to demonstrate for this video. Yeah, you can see news and interest now can be displayed um, in all orientations. So not just at the bottom, to the left, top and right now as well. So I think that's a nice handy addition for the news and interest feed as that was a requested feature and now Microsoft has finally rolled that out. And then just another um, kind of um, new add-on um, for the news and interest feed is that your taskbar right-click context menu settings. These settings here have also been made available now on the taskbar settings page in the settings menu. And here we go news and interest so you can actually turn it off and on now from that page as well. And then you get all your other settings as mentioned available now in that taskbar settings menu page and um, once this update has been applied if we just head over to winver um, the os build now for uh, windows 10 version 21h2 will now be bumped up to 19044.2130 so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one